This video is brought to you by Artistworks. Artistworks are part of Truefire Studios and they offer direct access to master musicians through their innovative online learning platform. Partnering with iconic musicians, they've crafted decades of industry experience into guided paths of online learning. Crucially, there's an option to get personalized feedback tailored specifically to your playing via their unique video exchange. Get direct guidance towards your playing goals. You can use the code GNC40 for 40% off of any of Artistworks courses. So I wanted to kind of experiment here with uh, what is essentially my one of my most recent presets where I was kind of going for a bit of a squishier kind of vox tone and then also pair that with kind of my normal uh, more smooth sustaining kind of lead tone. So that's essentially what I've packed into this preset. We've got three snapshots. Um, on the, the left here we've got our kind of voxy. thing going on you know sort of really touch responsive you can hear pick up changes and and then got my more kind of classic that kind of thing going on so I, I just wanted to, to kind of show you what's going on here uh, actually, I probably want to use that input gate, but keep the threshold nice and low. Um, yes. Okay, so let's just save that. Up front, we've got the top secret OD, which is the Dodd OD250. Um, gain at 7.1, level at 6.9. A little bit lighter settings than I might normally use. Um, that's not on for the Vox, but it could be switched on if you wanted it to. 
Uh, then we're going to the deluxe compressor, threshold at minus 52.2, ratio 6 to 1, attack 38, release 200, 100% mix and level plus 8 and knee plus 8.7. Okay, then we're going into the Essex A30, which is the top boost, like AC30. Uh, drive at 6.9, base at 5, cut all the way off, treble at 5, presence off, and channel volume at 7.4, master at 10. Uh, and then we've got a low high shelf at 152, giving us a little bit of a, a help in the lower end, um, plus 11.1. .1. This is kind of just to enhance the feel, really. Um, then we're using a, a dual cab setup, so the US Deluxe with the 906, position 6.9, 45 degree, and then the other cab will be a 2x12 Bluebell, the same speaker, uh, no, mic 7.1, and there's no high cut on this, interestingly. Um, then using the Vintage Digital, 800 milliseconds time, 45% feedback, um, and the sample rate and bit depth set as high as possible, mix at 19%, um, a little bit of mod there, 0.2, depth 3.2, scale at 75, and the headroom at plus 12, so we don't get any clipping from there. And then my normal kind of glitz uh, reverb settings, 15.5, um, high cut, 5.1 decay, pre-delay almost all the way off, uh, 64 milliseconds delay, 1.84 rate, depth 3.8, and all of that stuff. So then for my lead tone, I'm kicking on the top secret OD in front of the compressor so that we don't get a massive jump up in volume. And then my litigator settings are the drive at 10, bass at 6, mids at 9.7, treble at 2.6, presence at 0, and channel volume at 9.6. So yeah, it's, it's working quite nicely, I think. Because I have all of the clarity and all of the bite that I want from that Vox part but then when I want my lead tone it's just got that lovely kind of fluffy quality I could also just up the mix slightly on the delay for my, my leads, maybe notch that up to 23. Um, you could equally Turn on or off that top secret OD if you want a bit more of the, the kind of gain stage and stuff. So blending kind of two of my favorite tones at the moment and we kind of got rhythm here which I might actually up the presence for. But taking advantage of that, so, you know, blending amps which do kind of different things really nicely, like that Vox edge of breakup thing, which the Dumble amps to me don't do so well if you've got them set smoothly. Um, the Vox can do a lovely job of it, and then... 
then the Dumble can do that really soft tone. I, I love the, that blend. Um, let me know if you want me to drop this into the Gumroad folder. I guess I'm going to do it anyway. If you haven't supported in that way before, that really helps me with you know creating these videos and hopefully sharing these tones with you um, in a way that is useful. If you're using a Helix, HX Stomp, Helix Native, this will work for you. Um, I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.